Hello guys and welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be doing my SPFL League 1 predictions. I've already done my SPFL Championship predictions. If you haven't already watched it, go check it out. Link will be in the description down below. Today I'm doing League 1. I will not be doing League 2 because I don't know much about the clubs. I will be doing the SPFL main top division. That'll be in a couple weeks time just before the season starts. So stay tuned on the channel for that. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. In 10th, and I've gone for Annan Athletic. They slightly avoided um, relegation last year. They obviously just avoided playoffs, which was very impressive. I think they had like a, what, seven, eight game um, unbeaten streak, which is very good. They also drew to Falkirk, gave them a wee bit of a scare as well. They had very good players, don't get me wrong. And they thoroughly deserve to stay up in this uh, division. But look, they've lost important players like Benjamin Lucent, who has gone to their bitter rivals, Queen of the South. Um, they've got Tommy Goss, though. I think that's his name, Tommy Goss. The striker, very, very good. Watch out for him if you're not an Anand fan. So Anan, I think they'll do okay. Again, they beat Inverness in the first Premier Sports Cup game, which is which is positive signs to see, but I just think they're not going to maintain that level of performance for the whole season. Dumbarton are going in ninth place, and Dumbarton obviously went up through the playoffs last year into League One, back into League One after they got relegated a few years ago. Dumbarton, it's been coming for them to, to come into League One because they've really put on the pressure in League Two to come up to um, SPFL League One, but I think Dumbarton will get into the playoffs. Obviously, it depends who they'll play. They could be playing Spartans again in the playoffs, which will be a very tasty game, let's just say. Um, but I'm I'm very excited to see what happens to Dumbarton. Um, again, for me, the, one of the best stadiums in Scotland, Defo. I really, I would Defo go with Dumbarton away for Cove this season. Um, so yeah, Dumbarton, I don't think they'll have a very good year. I think they've got a very weak team. Like them, their best player is Michael Ruth, who's an Aberdeen youngster. So I don't have high hopes for Dumbarton, but I think they'll do all right. But I just think they'll not get over the line. Uh, ninth place for Dumbarton. Eighth, and I've gone for Kelty Hearts up in, not up, down in Fife. Very interesting with Kelty Hearts. I think they finished about around mid table last year. Again, not too great, not too bad of a season for them. A pretty mid last year. But this year, I think they'll struggle. You know, I think the players they've got, they've not really, I haven't really heard of them, any of the players they've signed, really. Um, haven't really heard anything from Kelty Hearts, to be honest, apart from that Inverness were going to move their training base to Kelty Hearts. But I think that failed. I don't know what to do with that what to assume about that Kelly Hearts I just don't think they'll have a good year I think they'll struggle but again very good stadium I visited them last year and honestly very nice people but Kelly Hearts I think they'll just just survive relegation but I think they'll have a struggling year Stennis Mira going in seventh and they obviously got promoted um, by finishing first in League Two last year, I think that was one of their first promotions out of that league for like fifty odd years, fifty plus years. Which fair play to Stenhouse Mirror, they've been in that league for absolutely ages. Um, and I think obviously when you come into a new league, it'll be tra it'll be more challenging if you go up. Um, but I think Stenhouse Mirror will do okay. Seventh for me. Sixth, and I've gone for Queen of the South. Now, this is a very interesting one because Queen of the South actually nearly got relegated last season alongside Anna and Athletic. It was them two battling at the bottom, but they managed to stay up. And Queen of the South, by far, have made the most signings. They made 11 signings this summer, which is absolutely outrageous. And obviously, most of them signings are coming from... And Athletic, because both teams are very remote, down at the bottom of Scotland in Dumfries. And obviously, they've also made the signing of Benjamin Lewison. I think that's how you pronounce his name. From Annan, very, very good player. Rate him a lot. They've also made the signing of Leighton McIntosh from Arbroath. Very good signing. Played for Cove. I've watched him. Very good player. 
And Queen of the South, I think they'll have a very good year with all these signings they brought together and gathered. I think they'll have a very good year. Sixth is by far beyond their ex expectations this year, probably. Their ambition is probably just to stay up in the league. But I think they'll overachieve this season. Sixth for me. Mid-table and... I don't, I don't really want to do this, but I've gone for Cove Rangers, my club. Oh, I don't know why I've done this, but I think the loss of Burrow has been pivotal. It's been crucial to Cove. Burrow scored 25-odd goals last year, which, gosh, he was insane. He nearly got, he nearly got more goals than Shankland and Boyamioski, like... Burrow was class. Um, he's gone to Burton Albion, so we're going to miss him. We brought in five signings so far. We've got Declan Glass, Ryan Harrington, Cole Donaldson, Finley, Mur Finley Murray and Grady McGrath from Brecon. Very good player. Watch out for him. Um, I'm currently filming this on the Tuesday. The This video, I think, comes out on the Wednesday night or the Thursday night. I'm going to watch... I'm, Going to co Spartans tonight, see how they do. If they lose, then yeah, I'm probably correct with this prediction. Um, but I just mid table, they finished mid table last year, and I think they'll finish mid table again. Fifth place for Cove, I, pff, I'm very disappointed. Getting down to the playoff spots, and I've gone for Montrose to finish in fourth place. Now, they just finished above Cove in the playoff spots last season. Montrose obviously were in the playoffs um, for their ambition was to go to the championship. They drew in the first leg 0-0 to Inverness. I was at that game at Lynx Park, lost 1-0 in the second leg. They got knocked out. They'll be back, or not really back, they'll stay in League One for another year. But definitely their ambition is to go up into the championship. They've got the players to do it, don't get me wrong. But I think, yes, they'll get a playoff spot, but... Uh, I just think they'll struggle a little bit in the playoffs, but I think they'll have a very, very good season. Top three, and I've gone for Montrose's biggest haters, Arbroath. I need to go to an Angus Derby, Montrose Arbroath next season, or this season, uh, because that would be brilliant. Um, wherever it is, Lynx Park, in Arbroath, I don't care. I, will, I need to go to an Angus Derby. But getting on to Arbroath now, they've obviously been relegated from the Championship, they got absolutely pumped last season in the championship. Um, they finished rock bottom. And I think, obviously, Arbroath are a very tiny club. Don't get me wrong. And the fact that they were in the championship for that long, I think, shows their mentality. They've done very, very well for the size and the structure of that club. And I think League One is where high, high places in League One is where they should be. But they obviously, they want to go up. And I think they'll finish in third place. I think they'll have a very good year. They've made a couple of very good signings, players on loan as well. And I think our growth overall, and I think it's Jim McIntyre, who used to manage Cove Rangers. I hope he does well. Okay, our growth are a, a decent club. They've obviously lost players. They've obviously gathered players. And I think this season, third place for our growth is good enough for them. Oh, top two... And there's two teams that you wouldn't have heard the name of in this video so far. And con this is a controversial one. I've gone second place for Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Obviously, you would know. They got relegated last season as well. Hamilton Aki's went up in the playoffs over them. A big brawl on the pitch. Protests. The club's been an absolute mess. They lost 4-1 to Brewer Rangers in pre-season. They lost to Annan in the Premier Sports Cup match they won. They've had troubles with the fight, moving to Fife for their training base. They've had on and off difficulties with the owners. Them could be going into administration. They've had so many problems. And I think I was going to put Inverness in first by a mile. But then I realised these problems that they're having. And I think... They're not going to overcome them. They've had to sell some of their very good players. I think one of them, Nathan Evans, whatever his name is, he went to Greenock Morton. He's one of their best players. They've obviously kept on to Billy Mackay. 
a very, very big Inverness legend. Probably will be doing quite well for them this season. But Inverness, I think that with the troubles they've had, I think they'll just come short. And I feel for Inverness, I feel for the fans, because right now the state that they're in is an absolute, let's just say, pit of mud. They're in a pit of mud, Inverness, right now. But I, I, honestly, I've got a mate who's an Inverness fan. I probably He's probably watching this video. I want, I obviously want them to do well. Um... But I think they'll just fall short. And unfortunately for Inverness fans, I think you'll finish in second. Now, first place. You probably already know, know it by now. By me going through all the teams and leaving one out. And that is Surprise Package Aloha Athletic. I don't know why I've really gone for this. I was obviously going to go for Inverness. But with the problems they've got on and off the pitch, I've gone for Aloha. The season they had last year was very, very good. I think they were like eighth um, at the start of the season. And then they somehow made it into, what was it? Was it not? Was it not third? Second or third? Um, and they did brilliant. Oh, third, I think it was. They did brilliant. And they obviously, unfortunately, fell short in the playoffs. Um, unfortunately for them, to Howell and Aki. So the state of the league... But I think this is their time. I think Aloha are going up. This is Aloha's time. They've been in this league for way too long. I think Aloha and Aloha fans, I think you'll do it. I think you'll do it. Um, It's a good little club as well. I need to go to their stadium as well. I think it's very, very good. And the what they've got going in Aloha is very, very promising and is heading up, let's just say. And in my opinion, Aloha flag, you'll be... The SPFL League One Champions. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe. Go check out my SPFL Championship predictions. They'll be in the link in the, in the description down below. Um, obviously, I'm not being biased here. And I've tried to base it off stats, maybe transfers, stats from last season, club structure. Let's just say I've tried to gather that information to build this predicting table. Again, I probably would have made mistakes. I'm not perfect. Comment down below what you think I should have done right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.